And at our nation's capital, where Senate lawmakers are actually on the Hill for a judiciary hearing on protecting children online. Both Democrats and Republicans vowing to put their differences aside to come together and actually take action when it comes to keeping our children safe on social media. This comes after President Biden addressed his concerns during the State of the Union, calling on Congress to stop big tech from collecting personal data on our kids. Let's bring in our Jay O'Brien, who covers the Hill for us. So, Jay, uh, I guess the hearing just wrapped up. What, what can you tell us? Yeah, it wrapped up a little bit earlier today, Kira. And one of the takeaways was we heard both from activists, but also people who have been impacted by this issue personally. One was a mom. Her name is Kirsten Bride. She's the mother of Connor Bride, who died by suicide at the age of 16 years old because, his mother says, of online bullying. I want to show you a little bit of what she had to tell lawmakers today. After his death, we discovered that Carson had received nearly 100 negative, harassing, sexually explicit, and humiliating messages, including 40 in just one day. The last search on his phone before Carson ended his life was for hacks to find out the identities of his abusers. So that is what lawmakers encountered today in that Senate Judiciary hearing. Again, the question that was posed in this hearing is what can be done and what would lawmakers choose to do going forward. Hearing that testimony, hearing from others, and what appetite do social media companies have to be regulated? We know there are some efforts here on the Hill, but how far they would go in this new Congress is still unclear. So, Jay, what are lawmakers going to do about it then? Well, there's a proposal right now for a number of other different kinds of legislation, but one that's getting some headlines is called the Kids Online Safety Act, and that would create what's called a duty to care, meaning it would force social media companies essentially to put more protections in for kids online, particularly kids younger than 16 years old. There is bipartisan support for that legislation. It's being proposed. It's being backed by Senator Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee, a Republican, and Senator Richard Blumenthal, a Democrat of Connecticut. We spoke with them both. They were proud in this hearing today. Here's a little bit of what they told me. The faces and voices of young people and parents who have been victimized by that toxic content, bullying, eating disorders, suicide. And that's what will move Congress. For Judiciary Committee to take it up, it just shows you the amount of support that is building in a bipartisan manner to get something done about this. So passing it, getting it through the House and to the President's desk is our goal. And I think you will see that happen fairly quickly. So Senator Blumenthal telling us that that testimony, the kind that we heard today, that is what will move his colleagues in the Senate and then obviously members of the House as well. Senator Blackburn saying she's confident there will be some kind of legislation to pass in both chambers. I can tell you that the Kids Online Safety Act did face a little bit of pushback from groups who say that it limited kids' ability to access online, that it went too far. And certainly social media companies, they have said they want to work with Washington, they want to work with Congress for certain kinds of regulation. But what Senator Blumenthal told us is every time they propose regulation, social media companies back away and say they don't want to support that. So clearly there is still work to be done to get something through both chambers here, Kira. All right, we'll follow it all. Jay O'Brien, thanks so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.